Okay, Shalom, how is everyone doing? Okay, I'm coming back with more uh, news updates. Give me one second. Okay, so I'm coming back with some updates of every all the news, everything that's been going on. Okay, this is according to CBS News. Okay, we're going to go to YouTube. Turning now to the alarming new surge in coronavirus cases across the country. The U.S. is averaging 100,000 new infections per day as the Delta variant spreads nationwide. Health officials are urging Americans to get vaccinated as hospitals see a major spike in COVID patients, especially in the South. Omar Villafranca has the latest. Inside the ICU at Baton Rouge General Hospital, doctors and nurses are treating more COVID patients than ever before, almost all of them unvaccinated. They're patients like 61-year-old Douglas Allen. After nearly a month in a hospital bed, we asked Allen if he changed his mind about getting the shot. When you're able medically to get the vaccine, Will you get it? Uh, on a percentage basis, probably 90% yes. I still have that little bit of what the heck is going on. That kind of doubt is all too common, says Hospital Chief of Critical Care and Pulmonary Services, Dr. Stephen Briere. How does it not feel like you're just constantly running into a wall? You see all the misinformation out there. I can understand sometimes why they make the decisions they do. When you read those lies, they're scary to a lot of people. And those lies are difficult to combat, even for people like there's Jordan Miller. I have family members that refuse to get vaccinated. I tell them that we're building new ICUs every day and that we've gone from 24 beds to almost 100. And we have people in their 20s and 30s and 40s who are dying. And I have yet to convince some of my family members. As cases have spiked across the state, rates of vaccination have risen across Louisiana, <laughs> but more than half the population still remains unvaccinated. And too many are ending up in one of Dr. Briere's growing number of COVID ICUs. Do you feel like you're having to sell science? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do uh, sell reason, sell logic, uh, whatever it is, debunk myths. Whatever the person needs to encourage them to get vaccinated is what I'll do. That was Omar Villafranca reporting. For more on this now, let us bring in Dr. Teresa Marie Amato. She's the Director of Emergency Medicine at Long Island Jewish Forest Hills. Thank you so much for joining us. Doctor, I don't know if you heard Omar's story, if you could hear the, the uh, story playing, but he's interviewing a patient in the hospital who was talking about how weak he was, how difficult it was to breathe. And when Omar asked him once, you know, whether or not he would get the vaccine once it became, once he was healthy enough, he said there was a 90% chance that he would. I was shocked that he didn't say 100%. I just want to get your reaction. I mean, you must be seeing patients who have been avoiding the vaccine. And, you know, I'm wondering if, 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 if you are as shocked by that answer as I am. I'm not shocked. Uh, there's a lot of hesitancy still uh, with the vaccines. I believe the physician was talking about, uh, you know, a lot of false information out there. And it's very hard for people to sort of sort through it and, and know what's real and what's not. Um, I also think there's some uh, misunderstanding of once you've had the COVID virus, you know, that you can't get it again. You don't need a vaccine. Um, and we know that that's just not true. We have seen people reinfected. Um, so I would encourage people, whether or not you've had COVID, um, to really speak to your doctor and do it as soon as you can about getting the vaccine. The Delta variant, as we know, is way more contagious than the original COVID. Um, I personally have been seeing younger and younger people coming into the hospital quite ill, and the vast majority of them are not vaccinated. So we know the science behind it. We know the vaccines work. They're available. Um, please, if you can, speak to your doctor today um, and, and talk about getting the vaccine. 
Um, you just brought up, you know, the fact that there are, there's a lot of misinformation out there. One of the things you talked about is that people believe that if they already contracted COVID, then, you know, they're less likely to get it again. And so I just want to springboard off of that because we're getting more and more information every day about how this virus works. A new CDC study found that people who have contracted COVID before are actually twice as likely to be reinfected if they don't get vaccinated. What do we know about Im immunity after you've you know picked up the virus kind of organically you 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 had covid you got through it what do we know about your immunity and how long it lasts so uh since covid is a, a novel virus um we're, we're still learning about it right so up until 18 months ago this virus didn't exist so we don't have all the answers yet but if you look at the data people that have been previously infected are not immune to catching it a second time I'm not clear if that's because it's the Delta variant or that their immunity has has waned and since they had the, the COVID back you know, a year or so ago. It's really hard to say, but we do know that for people who have been vaccinated, uh, you know, the rate of, of actually getting very sick with COVID or dying with COVID is less than 1%. So there's really no downside to getting the vaccine. Um, you know, the FDA now is looking for folks that are immunocompromised that have had two vaccines. Do they possibly need a third vaccine? So I encourage people, mm -hmm. you know, if you're hesitant, think about protecting the people that are immunocompromised that can't build those antibodies despite two vaccines. So, you know, speaking of this idea of a booster shot, which I know there's a lot of conversation about whether or not we would need that third vaccine. I mean, do you predict that it could be even, will it be sort of a third, if we need a third dose, will it be the booster shot and that's it? Or is there a possibility that this will work like the flu virus and, you know, you get a shot every season? Yeah, so again, we're, we're learning about the virus um, just, you know, every day. I would say right now the FDA is looking at a specific group of people that may need a third shot. And again, those are folks that are immunosuppressed who really didn't build up antibodies with the two, first two vaccines. Um, there are other countries that are looking about rolling out a, a booster vaccine for the people that have already been completed their vaccination. Um, we're not quite there yet, but we're still looking at the evidence. There is some concern that you know we may need to get a booster shot, maybe yearly. Um, right now, we're really not sure if it's going to be like the flu versus just your third shot. You'll have enough um, memory cells so that you'll have a, a good immune response if you are exposed. So before I let you go, doctor, I want to get your take on this. And we asked, we've asked, you know, we have various doctors uh, on with us. Uh, school's coming. Um, it's right around the corner. In fact, in some areas, kids have already gone back to school. Many children under 12 are not eligible for the vaccine. Um, we do not want to go back to what we were doing during the last school year, where a lot of kids were not in class at all. Um, what sort of preventative measures would you like to see administrators put in place to make sure that we don't see outbreaks this fall? Yeah, it's a little bit of a confusing time with mask and mask mandates. The CDC does recommend um, that people be that people, especially children, should be wearing masks when they're uh, close quarters indoors, like a school. Also, recommending good air filtration systems, opening windows if you can. Um, you know, I think what's confusing is that some of this decision is left up to state by state and school district by school district. Um, so, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to comply with what my school district puts out. You know, we're waiting to hear what it's going to be like for the fall. Um, but whatever recommendations they make, they, they've been in close contact with, you know, the Department of Health and the Centers for Disease Control. So we really have to take our cue from them. But it's confusing times right now. So I, I don't judge when people say they're not really sure. But I anticipate that there's yeah. probably going to be mask wearing in the schools at the very least. Yeah, right back to wear your mask, wash your hands, sing happy birthday twice to make sure your hands are super clean, all the stuff we were doing at the beginning. Uh, Dr. Uh, Maria Vaughn. Okay, y'all. Uh, so y'all tell me what y'all think about that uh, new information. So things is really heating up and, and not only is the cut, coronavirus heating up i mean everything is heating up the most high is just turning up the heat i mean you got why wildfires earthquakes tornadoes floods he's cleansing the earth by any means necessary it's not just a covid virus and you know what i'm glad that uh, the news anchor asked about the 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 flu 
because you know this is totally different from the flu okay because the flu season come around every year you haven't heard anything about the flu since this covid virus came out and also uh the news anchor said why is it that everyone have to keep getting shot up with a vaccine for this covid virus when Normally, with the flu season, you only get that shot once. So y'all tell me what y'all think about all this. Please like, share, and subscribe. Shalom.